good? I go by the name Char Bates, and welcome to My Modest Hip Hop News. This is the first revolutionary news brought to you from a millennial hip hop perspective because it's time. Tired of shit for the news? I'm giving it to y'all real. We're gonna be breaking down some of the stuff that they be saying and tell you what's really going on. I'm here in Atlanta. I figured we'd go ahead and start with who? Robert Aaron Long the 21 year old male terrorist here in Atlanta that just killed eight people in spas. And instead of calling it a hate crime, which we fought so hard to have here in Georgia, they are just calling it a murder. But for some reason, Google and all the mainstream media is just saying suspect and accused. That's funny. I thought he confessed, but no, everybody is coddling this white male ego from the sheriff Tell about he's having a bad day to, oh, the writer at the Washington Post, David Fuller, saying that what he's suffering from is he's not alone. What is he suffering from? I'm sorry, I thought that dang near every, every male of every color has some level of degree to where they love sex. We're dealing with all types of things, but it's only when it's dealing with white males to where it's all these excuses made. Because I remember y'all calling Michael Brown a monster. I remember y'all showing Trayvon Martin holding guns at, uh, during the trial. I'm sure you have some photos. It before that was, I'm sorry, that was before the trial. I'm sure you guys have some photos of him uh, with guns. I'm sure you guys have some more criminating photos, but no, you want to show him as a choir boy and he grew up in church and they were heavy against sex before marriage and all none of that matters. You killed eight people. You are a murderer and you are a terrorist. Okay. Stop diminishing it. Let's speak on the fact that he was arrested without a scratch. I wonder how Jacob Blake feels who was shot in the back while just trying to protect some black women. But no, we don't get the same amount of empathy. It is so much coddling going on, so many excuses. And then they jump right in. Instead of them talking about the white male ego that has been massaged in this country, which also made it possible and made them feel comfortable to storm the Capitol, which also it is so much coddling that the people that stormed the Capitol are literally receiving organic food in jail because this is the America that we live in. And instead of them saying that he is a white male terrorist, which is responsible for uh, uh, the majority of crimes in this country, they're saying stop Asian hate, instead of stop coddling white terrorism, instead of stop coddling the white male ego. I don't get it. Uh, and, and, and do you see how everybody stepped up and it's an, and it's an entire movement to stop Asian hate? I, I, I can't help but think about the other side. I wouldn't be Malcolm Luther Queen if I didn't speak on this other side here. Because I don't remember it being a campaign for stopping the black and African hate in China when the pandemic first started. I don't remember it being a, a, a widespread hashtag about forced evictions, forced quarantines, forced homelessness. People losing their jobs just because they're black during this pandemic. I don't remember it being a huge outcry about CCTV broadcasting during the Lunar New Year, an entire production of hundreds of people in black faces to hundreds of millions of viewers. They're still doing blackface in China in 2021, but because China owns all of their media, they're saying that it's baseless rumors. Really? How about you go hashtag black China? More importantly, we need y'all to stand with us like we're standing with y'all. I need you to stand with us every day instead of some of y'all, because I, I can't say this for everybody, and I'm not saying this is for everyone of the, of the Asian community, but it is a history of discrimination. It is a history of us being harassed in your stores. It is a history of us being followed around in your stores. It is a history of people protecting the police. I, I, I remember hearing about a, a, a Kai girly. People literally turned into activists protecting and protesting for the police. Y'all, we, I, I, I'm sorry because la, I, I gotta speak on this because last time I checked, 
We, the black community builds a lot of generational wealth for the Asian community. We need y'all out here in the streets with us when we're shot down like dogs. We need y'all out here in the streets with us and not calling the police over minuscule things. We need y'all not snatching glue up out of our heads and beating us with brooms. When we ask about the quality of our services that we spend so much money on from the nail industry to the gas station industry to the beauty supply industry to the corner store industry, when will you stand with us? Because we are standing with y'all and we are standing strong. But we always stand for everybody else because we are kind people regardless of how much of a monster we're painted out to be. We need y'all to stand with us. On the other side, down here in Georgia, why do we need y'all to stand with us so much? Why? Because we people like Steven Stiles is still being hung in 2021. Yes, Steven Stiles was found on February 20th in Winston, Georgia. I know y'all think it's a myth, but black people don't commit suicide by hanging from a tree. And we damn sure ain't go vandalize our vehicle and put mud all in it. Does that not sound like somebody trying to cover up evidence? But no, the sheriff's office ruled it a suicide. Well, shout out to the NFAC because they're down there at, at, at the sheriff's office right now. I watched it on the live, live and in color. Hey, listen, nobody's playing with you guys. And why am I reporting on this? Because this is revolutionary news. And I know mainstream media like to sweep it under the rug. I know y'all like to make it seem as if because Georgia voted blue, that we're blue, but it's very much so purple. And it's real red as soon as you get about 20 miles outside of Atlanta. And don't forget it, because you're still in the South. And I say that as a person that's been down here for years. And from the Midwest, I'm from Michigan. So I could speak on it. Yes. People are still being hung, okay? Aside from that, I heard y'all got y'all a stimmy, though. I heard y'all got y'all a stimmy. What you doing with it, though? What you spending? Where you going? You popping bottles this weekend? You buying some LLCs? You buying some product? Okay. Now, I was talking about good product now. Listen, y'all. Can y'all stop telling everybody what to do? God damn. Y'all be talking about people spending this stimulus like, like people is getting $50,000, okay? If somebody want to go and do something nice for themselves and do some self-care, let them. If they want to go and buy a business, congratulations. Whatever they do, let them do them and you do you. Period. Okay? With the exclamation. Because <laughs> we speaking on everything, everything, everything. This is my Bodice Hip Hop News. I go by the name Charvates, also known as Malcolm Luther Queen. Thanks for joining us.